Okay, now what do we have? Well, next we have a couple more plants which can adapt to indoor or outdoor gardening. This oh, is the Gerber daisy. These are so cute. <laughs> They do look like daisies. They look like big daisies in, in bright colors. Around this area, they are treated somewhat as a tender perennial. Uh -huh. You can plant them outdoors, and they will come back if planted in a protected area outside. They will bloom easily six weeks outdoors. In the home, they'll bloom easily six weeks or more given proper conditions. These could take almost any sunny window, anything from an east to a west window. So these are quite versatile. Quite. As long as they get some sun, they'll be happy, right? That's right. You can even see the buds coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, they will give you quite a long bloom span. One blossom easily lasts a week, if not longer. Oh. And they would take the same fertilization as the Rieger begonia, the blossom booster. I, I tend to prefer for these. Okay, now do you like to fertilize? I've heard different thoughts mm -hmm. on this and I just want to get your opinion. Mm -hmm. um, do you like to fertilize plants when they are actually blooming or only before and after they bloom? How it depends on that? the life of the blossom. If it's long-lived, as something like the Gerber daisy uh -huh. might be, I would say you actually could fertilize with a more diluted solution so as not to hurry the blossom along so you could enjoy it for a long period of time. If it's something that blooms very quickly as maybe a, a cineraria or a more annual type plant mm -hmm. in the house, I wouldn't because it would make it bloom out too quickly. Oh, okay. But as everyone has different opinions on that. <laughs> and then usually That's most true. of them work. <laughs> That's the way the plant business is. Right. There are lots of blooming plants that you can use in your sunny windows. And it seems like every year there's another variety or two that shows up.